Health Air Maiden. Welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question on YouTube or The Mothership on a Wednesday. I'll do my best to shout back or answer one week later. Well, it looks like overcast with a chance of showers today for the virgins. That's because the moon is still in Pisces, putting emotional focus on your relationships. That includes how you relate to yourself. We're still coming off a light cast day, but in the next 24 hours, the moon will now cross in front of Uranus. That's why I'm predicting some showers. Now, Uranus is the innovation vibration. Whenever it hits an area of our life, we're forced to innovate. It's kind of like the police coming up to you and going, okay, come on, let's keep it moving, folks. Nothing here to see. So it tends to be some sort of a pitfall or an emotional rut we fall into. And it's all happening around relationships for you. So this could be easily where you start to panic about your current marriage, your current relationship. You might just start to fall into a poor me, I'm going to die an old maid, that sort of thing. And that's what we don't want to have happen. You don't want to give further emotion to negative relationships. You want to put your emotions into light casting what you want. Remember, the universe is going to bring to you what you allow to emote. It's not only this, though, it's actually that vibration between Saturn and Uranus, that fault line that we've been dealing with for the last nine months. So it's likely going to be some sort of an ego trigger, like your ego is going to get defensive or not feel like it's respected. Then that will trigger, oh my gosh, I'll never get married or I can't handle this. And the trick is you want to innovate your ego so it's defending you but not over defending you. And you want to prevent yourself from falling into those emotional ruts. So just keep it moving, uh, Virgo, when it comes to marriages. Now for our shout out goes to TJ Casado who asked the question, how do I get my career moving with all these anxieties I'm feeling in the moment? Well, let me tell you this. The trick is you need to get over your anxieties, TJ. That's the point of Saturn and Virgo. You can't walk around life freaking out all the time. So if you take care of yourself and your ego and stand up for yourself and follow the daily horoscopes and really work on your soul to get it to where you're running smoothly no matter what happens, then career, love, money, all these things will happen. You got to get control of those anxieties. That's the point. All right, that's all I have for Wednesday. Shout out. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, V. Hello, Christopher Wateki here, your friendly neighborhood astrologer. Soul Garden is trying to raise some soul capital for us to expand our website, our content, and our soul services to you. So we're asking our viewers for donations. If you have a little extra soul capital of your own, you want to be part of this magical process, us preparing for the age of Aquarius, then please navigate to soulgarden.tv forward slash love forward slash live love be.